laps complete in this 25 lap event. 25 laps for our Extreme Figure 8 division. Coming up next after this, we'll have the Oval Extreme feature for you. Another 25 lappers set to come here on the uh, Sports Dome Speedway Presents on Inside Cable's ICN Channel 2. Down through turns three and four, you hear the engine starting to wind up as they pick up the RPMs. Looking a little bit better this time, and Dave Wolf does turn them loose. We're back underway with green flag. There is your leader, the number 56 car. That's Donnie Blanchard. He is going to be duking it out, though, with the number 11 machine of Scott Box. Scott going to have the uh, advantage of the inside groove this time through and makes the most of it as he pulls out in front and looks like this time across, yes, we'll have a new leader for you. The number 11 of Scott Box finds his way out in front, but we're back. The red flag is back out. Not sure what the problem is. And a car spun. Okay, there's uh, right there the number 86 machine. Uh, boy, he contacted something. Look at that uh, front grill. Looks like uh, the sway bar is dragging underneath there as well. Cut down a tire. And uh, apparently he was setting down there in the turn. And uh, that brings out the red flag once more. So we're going to have to realign the field. Another broadcast for the week of Saturday, September 18th. But right now we got racing of plenty still to go. Seven laps complete in this extreme figure eight feature event as the green flag flies once again. The number 11 of Scott Box, there goes the gentleman who was leading here a while ago, the number 56 of Donnie Blanchard going on the spin. He is uh, losing the handle on it and he's gonna find himself relegated to the end of the field. That's gonna open the door for the number 11 of Scott Box now to take over sole possession of the lead down through the intersection this time. Eight laps now complete in this 25 lap feature event. Race leader, the number 11 of Scott Box. Right behind him, number 27 of Rick Hine running in second. Third will belong to the number 45 of Doug Burba. Fourth place will be the number 41 of Zeke Skaggs. And then rounding out the uh, top five as we wait for scoring to make it official. Now, no word yet. We'll find out shortly who's running in fifth place. But right now, we do know that the double ones there, the number 11, Scott Box, is your racing leader. All right, Mike Berry, the number five machine, is running fifth on the field. Nine laps complete up through turns three and four. Scott Box continues to show the way. There's uh, Rick Hine. He is out, or the uh, number 17 machine of Earl Riley, that is. Doodle Dog getting out of his car. He is vacating it. Uh, apparently uh, complaining to the flag man. Earl, there's a time and a place, buddy. This is not the time nor the place. But uh, Earl Riley, a very one of the colorful characters here in racing at the Jeffersonville Sports Drum Speedway. And uh, Doodle Dog's going to do it. He brought out the red flag. So off through turns three and four, they'll pick up the pace a little bit as they anticipate the green flag. Keep the cars in order and down through the intersection. And the green flag flies. And we're back underway with racing here in this extreme figure eight feature event. 25 laps the distance. Nine have been clicked off so far. It is the number 27 machine, your race leader, Rick Hine. Rick Hine uh, out in front. The number 41, Zeke Skaggs, right there side by side with him. And it looks like Zeke's going to get the advantage this time across the start-finish line. The BNR Speed Shop Racing Machine is going to show the way for lap number 10. So there's your new race leader, the number 41 of Zeke Skaggs. Rick Hine relegated back to second. Third place will belong to the number 45 car. That is Doug Burba. Doug Burba holding on the uh, top three cars there, nose to tail as they come down through the intersection. Lap number 11 now down and in the books. 11 away, 25 laps the distance here in this extreme figure eight feature event. There's a couple of cars going on a spin. The number 51 machine, that is Jim Berry. He was running inside the top five, but he is no longer inside the top five as uh, him and a couple of cars get contacted together and spin out there in turn number four. They'll get it back in action though and we'll stay with green flag racing as Zeke Skaggs continues to show the way. Rick Hine running in second. Third place now belongs to the number 45 of Doug Burba. Fourth place belongs to the uh, number five of Mike Berry and the fifth place position, it's number 40 of Darren Greenwell. Darren now moving up to fourth on the field as he gets around the uh, five of Mike Berry. But right now your race leader Zeke Skaggs showing the way there through turns one and two. Looking down through the intersection, going to be a little bit busy, but it'll clear out by the time he hits it. So he'll find 
Fox Open Racing. Still to come, we're going to have the Oval Extreme feature event for you coming up next. But right now we're still in the middle of Extreme Figure 8 action. 13 laps are complete, halfway home for the cars. Getting a little tight there for Rick Hine as he had to thread the needle coming through the intersection. Second place car. It's opening up just a bit for him this time through though. 14 laps are complete. Thank you for tuning in here to Inside Cable's IC and Channel 2 as the Sports Dome Speedway presents. Come your way once a month throughout the racing season. We'll be back with you for another broadcast the weekend of Saturday, September 18th. Saturday, September 18th will be our next uh, telecast. In between now and then, though, we invite you to come out and join us. A night of live racing, short track style. Been doing it for 58 years here at the Jeffersonville Sports Dome Speedway. Doesn't get any better than this. Some of the finest short track racing in the Midwest can be found right here at the historic home of the Jefferson Hill Sports Dome Speedway. Zeke's Gag still showing the way, 16 laps complete. Zeke's gonna be uh, coming up on one of the back markers there, trying to maneuver his way around. As that intersection starting to tighten up a little bit, but uh, Zeke having some trouble getting around that back marker. Things really tight in the intersection now as the number 41 car has to work his way around that slower traffic. Rick Hine right there trying to uh, find an opening to take advantage. Rick Hine, the number 27 car, holding down second, but he would certainly like to take that top spot away from Zeke. But Zeke finally managing to find some open room. Down through the intersection, 18 laps now complete. 77 car, one of the back markers. He's uh, trying desperately to keep from being lapped, and he kind of swings wide there on Zeke, and that's going to open the door for Rick Hine. Rick Hine, the number 27 car, now your new racing leader. Watch it, a lot of cars getting bunched up there. That number 77 machine, that of course is Tim Pinnegar. Tim Pinnegar just not going to give up the ghost this early. But that does change the complexion of the races. Rick Hine, the number 27, is your new race leader. Zeke Skaggs is now second in the number 41 car. As the red flag flies once again, apparently uh, something awry on the track. Yeah, we got a Ute tire, one of those big tractor tires. Someone must have come in contact with that. And as you can see, it's right out there in the racing lane. So we're going to have to take time to resituate that so once again the red flag flies here we'll be back with 17 laps completed in this 25 lap extreme figure eight feature being brought to you by the powder keg 2 stay tuned more racing to come from the sports drone speedway here on inside cables icn2 so Back here with you for Extreme Figure 8 action at the Jeffersonville Sports Drone Speedway here on Inside Cable's ICN Channel 2 being brought to you by the Powder Keg 2. Well, we've seen it happen once tonight, but it's going to be a big advantage this time. As you may remember, before we went to break, the red flag had come out. One of the tractor tires had gotten contacted and uh, had gotten pushed out. See the big white tire there on your screen? It had gotten pushed out into the racing surface. That brought out the red flag. Under a red flag, you revert back to the last good lap. Well, if you remember, the number 41 of Zeke Skaggs had been leading the race until the number 77 of Tim Pinnegar got into him and knocked him out of contention while reverting back a lap. Guess who was in the lead? Yeah, the number 41 of Zeke Skaggs. So he finds himself back out in front once again. So that red flag was a big helper for Zeke Skaggs as he goes from zero to hero back again. So down through the intersection, it's the number 41 of Zeke Skaggs out in front. Darren Greenwell running second. Rick Hine now relegated to third there in the number 27 car. Fourth place will belong to the number 38. That is Artie Ware. And fifth place will be the number 35 of Mark Harmon. So if you, if the red flag comes out and you weren't the cause of it, then it reverts back to the last good lap. And that last good lap had Zeke Skaggs as your race leader. So he is back up front once again. 19 laps, now 20 in the books. Five to go in this extreme victory event. We've seen a lot of action tonight in this race. And uh, 
you'll see this action each and every week here at the Jeffersonville Sports Dome Speedway, so we encourage you to come on out and be a part of it. Next uh, Saturday, or this uh, upcoming Saturday night, yeah, it's Fan Appreciation Night on Saturday, August 21st. Just $8 for general admission. Kids 12 and under will be admitted free. So a good night for you to bring the family out and enjoy the fun and the excitement of racing right here at the Jeffersonville Sports Dome Speedway. Zeke Skaggs out in front, trying to keep it uh, straight for a few more laps here, four to be precise, as uh, he gets closer and closer to picking up that feature race win. He's gonna come down through the intersection, down through the dust cloud there, and across the start finish line, 22 laps, three to go. Zeke Skaggs out in front, the number 40 of Jared Greenwell running second right there on his back bumper. Those two have checked out on the field as Rick Hind, the number 27 car, now back in third about uh, five or six car lengths back. Down through turns three and four once again. A little busy at the intersection, but it does open up. There is Zeke Skaggs, your race leader. Darren Greenbow right behind him though. Darren can smell the possibility of a feature race win as well. So he is hanging on to that back bumper as they make their way through the intersection once more. Up into turns three and four. Zeke Skaggs, the AAA cleaning being our speed shop machine. There's the number 30 car. That is Tim McDonald. He has come to a stop out there in the racing surface, but he'll get it going again and gets out of the way as your race leader comes through. It's gonna be tight here as we come down. The white flag is out. This time across, it'll be the checkered flag showing. And indeed, the checkered flag flies for Zeke Skaggs, your race winner. Darren Greenwell running there in second. Third place will belong to the number 38 of Artie Ware, but your extreme figure eight winner, the number 41, Zeke Skaggs. Stick around, folks. We've got more feature race for you. The Dromer Oval, or excuse me, the Oval Extreme feature event will be coming up for you next. But uh, there's more racing still to come from the Sports Drone Speedway here on Inside Cable's ICN2.